So I'm gonna start by doing my hair, y'all. So I'm just, I think I'm flat out of my straight or either curly, it depends. You can walk by. Hey, Oz. Hey, you look cute. These are Oz. Hey, y'all. I'm so weak. Y'all better be subscribing and liking. Period. Hold on. While I'm talking, I need to subscribe. I'm so weak. This is actually kind of cute. Mm -mm, I'm, do I'm just doing to get ready with me. Oh, and you're going to do the talking? Mm -hmm. Are you going to edit it? Yeah, I'm going to have to edit this. So, like, long. take this part out. Okay. I'm going to take it out. This is some pretty good hair. It's from the Ruth Tolan Collection. Tolan. This is copyrighted, by the way, y'all, so don't try to steal my name. Yeah, I'm just going to turn up a little bit, you know, listen to my music, do my hair, do all that good stuff, and get cute. I think I'm going to do a sweater and stuff with my makeup. I'm just going to do, like, nudes and stuff like that. Never knew what drugs were. Down here, they be blinding these kids. I'm so They good, really girl. do, though. Parents like they, mm -hmm. they don't care. you gotta be good, and then it's like it's so like church driven, oh. yeah. Like, and they be judging people, so people people be doing stuff behind the scenes. That's why it's a lot of teen mm -hmm. pregnancy down here because they, they can't stop. stop. Look, can't stop smiling. I'm gonna smile when I'm happy. Like, bitch, you not like you. I'm gonna get some veneers and just cut off. Like, I'm like, bitch, you the face. I'm like, you stop this shit. Like, bitch, you the Bro, I need me some J's so I can wear my NYC jacket before it gets hot, bro. See, y'all, look, I got abs when I stand up, though. So, um, I'm just gonna give y'all guys, I'm just like, you know, chit chat and all this stuff like that. And I'm just gonna give you guys an update on what's been going on in my life. So, my boyfriend of two years, for that I've had for the past two years, like since high school and coming into college, we have like officially broken up. We don't go together anymore. Um, it's over. I might do a video and go in detail about y'all. But like now, I'm in a better headspace, like like mentally and then physically. I'm like in more in shape. I know y'all see that little color because his hair was actually orange at first. Crazy. But um, yeah. So like I'm doing pretty good as far as me dating and college and stuff like that. I'm um, I'm getting to the group of it because keep in mind I've been in a relationship for two years. So like I'm pretty new to like this dating stuff. It's just like, ooh, you know, your girl, like, I'm getting, I ain't gotta, still gotta get her groove back. Ruthie gotta get her groove back, period. So, like, I'm in the process of, you know, learning myself, loving myself, you know, I'm, I'm a, that F boy free glow, I have it. Well, my ex was an F boy though, so you, you never catch me, like, down in him on here. I'm just like, I'm chill. I'm just trying to better myself as a young woman. And stuff like that, you know, like I want to get consistent with my YouTube and then, like, me just like getting in my bag. Like, I want to be all in my bag. Like, I'm in my bag, but I want to be in my bag, in my bag, you know. So, I'm just really, um, you know, working on self. And there's nothing wrong with being single, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna maximize my singleness, period. What time is it, y'all? It's five o'clock, and uh. I need to get my life together. It is 5 11. I need to be out the house by 7. Knowing that I'm not because I got my makeup to do and everything. And then I'm talking to y'all at the same time. That's wild. Update on college. Let's talk about this college life, y'all. Okay, so like, you know, I go to the University of Alabama. Um, I like it. You know, I chose. Like, I didn't want to go to an HBCU. Even though, like, the HBCU, like, the culture is there, it's lit. You know, it's everything that you expect it to be and stuff like that. Like, I know it was, like, my friends, most of my friends went to HBCUs. Like, literally, like, I'm, like, only two of my friends have gone to, go to a PWI. And I go to a PWI. And it's legit. It's different. It's not as, like, close-knit as HBCU. Because, like, HBCUs, like, everybody know everybody. Everyone's networking and stuff like this. Like, I'm going to Alabama, and this school is huge. And so, like, don't nobody, like, I say like a lot, y'all. So, y'all have to bear with me. But, like, you, it's easy to get lost or feel alone even though it's so many people here, it's like it's easy to get like lost in lost in the sauce here. Period. Like it's hard. Like you have to really like like work to build like friendships and stuff like that. Especially so I like for all those people who like people who are watching me now that are in that are seniors in high school right now. 
high school seniors now and you're going off to college, I'm pretty sure now there's like uh whatever school you go to, like I'll go to UA, like University of Alabama. So like it's probably like a UA twenty two group chat. Like that's how it was for us around this time. Like they really kicking it off, everyone's finding their roommates and stuff like that. And so um I'm just like I just recommend like getting in those group chats. I had a brain fart, y'all. <laughs> I recommend getting in those group chats and network. Even if you're not a social person, I feel like it's vital that you be social in college and stuff like that. Like, I understand being a loner, but at least find another friend who's a loner as well. Like, you gotta find somebody you click with. And when you first get to school, like, it's okay. Like, you're gonna have to get used to, like, coming up and introducing yourself and stuff like that. I'm so weak, bro. Now I got to start over. That's good because I need to start over too. Ain't no answer to the picture. She probably tried to. Mm-hmm. But I don't, yeah, she, she's just like, yeah, I'm dead though. So, ha. <laughs> oh, I was just calling to look at myself. That's all. So look at yourself. Yeah, how I looked on the FaceTime camera. That's all. JP? Me? Say what's up, YouTube. Follow me on Instagram. This might get a million views, though. Follow your Instagram at I'm sorry. But I love this hair, y'all. So now I'm really talking to me to do my makeup because I don't even know if I'm going anywhere anymore. But it is. Y'all, I've really just been playing around. Like, I've been doing my stopping, talking, and everything. But it's a four. I was just talking about dating. You was just talking about dating. If I want me, period. But on a serious note, um, really, I'm just like focusing on myself, as I said before. I ain't never read no. I, I, I ain't never. I've never really done to get ready with me. So like, I don't know. Like, I, I really, I've watched like a few or whatever, but I ain't never really like you know, like got in detail, got went into detail and like watched. Oh, that's fun. And all that good stuff. And so, like, it's I don't know if this one gonna be good or not. So I'm trying to see like a a topic on what I should talk about. I probably should have did like some stories on my own, um, some questions on my Instagram that I could answer about for my, about myself. But I have had people ask me like certain stuff, so I'm just ask stuff that people generally ask about me. I mean, answer stuff that people generally ask about me. Um, my name is Ruth Tolan. That ain't too hard to find because like my face, my Facebook name is my real name. So, um, what else? I am currently enrolled as a freshman at the University of Alabama. I'm 18. I am 18 years old. Um, what else? I like clothing a lot, so like I might not have posted like no lookbooks or hauls and stuff like that, but y'all all that's coming. When I do it this time, I just want to do it right, so I got some coming for y'all. I got some coming. And then, um, I use, yes, of course, I like makeup. I'm a freelance in way, so like I do makeup for a hustle as a hustle as well. I am single, so shoot your shot. Yeah, on the plane. <laughs> I am single. Um, I have fun fact. I have seventeen siblings. My mom has six children. My dad has twelve. Thirteen. I mean. Twenty. <laughs> Twenty-five. <laughs> but yeah, my daddy. He probably. He probably got like thirteen, fourteen children. I think it's fourteen. Yeah, if I count. Girl, you know we had a, a brother that went to husband. I told you that. Go yeah, but um, mm-hmm. Um, uh, what else about me? Uh, I don't know. Like it's so much stuff that like y'all could ask and stuff like that. And I know like I don't want to keep y'all like bored. So like I guess I'm gonna just give you a story time on me and my ex and why we broke up. Then what? Well, how we broke up and how I felt and how I got over him. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just hop right into it. We broke up. Why we broke up? Basically, like, our families just ain't like each other. Our mamas ain't like each other. Because basically, like, our families ain't get along. And then, like, the chemistry. Like, we had good chemistry and stuff like that. But it was just, like, a lot of, like, outline factors that really took toll on our, took a toll on our relationship. And it was just, like, we just, it just, it just wasn't going to work out. 
Not, not at least not right now. And stuff like that. So, like, do I see him in my future? And like a lot of folks ask. Like, even my old classmates, because they're so used to seeing us together. The world may never know, baby. Because I don't even know. I don't know. Like, for that reason, like, we broke up. But here's the hit. Like, the guy ain't get. I still got a thing. So, we was together, right? And so, like, he, like, break up with me. Right? And so, like, me being, like, sweet on me. Like, he'll break up with me. And I'm like, well, I guess I got to deal with it. But, like, this is the only person I want. So, like, then he'll get right back with me. Then the next day, he'll break up with me. Then he'll get right back with me. So, after a minute, like, he did get back with me. But, like, we really ain't tell, like, our folks and stuff like that. And I'm like... Eventually, he told he told him probably like two three days later. Me, I was still like, mm. and my dad ended up wanting me not talking to him. My mom was like, "Why are you still talking to him?" La, 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 la. So, cause the kids, I ain't even get into his side of the story. And so, um, so after that, like we was together, but it was like awkward. Like you like it just wasn't the same anymore and stuff like that. So, like, a situation happened where basically, like, I had to talk to his mama and stuff like that. And, and I'm like, okay, you know, I'll do it. I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to tell y'all without giving away too much information about, like, his side. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I know, like, some people, you know, be like, eh, why would you say that? And so, um, after we broke up. When I broke up, we were back together. We probably stayed together for another month. And so, we had went to the J. Cole concert in September. Best night of my life. It was, like, literally like the most fun we've had in, like, a minute. Like, it was just, everything was just perfect. But you know how it's always that last time before, like, it's officially over. It's, like, that last vibe. And that was, like, our last, like, time. Like, right, just, like, vibing together and stuff like that. And so, um, basically, he wanted me to talk to his mom when I came back from school. I came back in October the 7th. A week before our two year anniversary. And so we was kinda looking forward to it, but I knew in the back of my head, I'm like, we not like not gonna make it. So I had to talk with his mom. And basically, like long story short, the discussion didn't go well. It was pointless with no purpose in it. None of that. Period. And so, um, you know, that happened and that same night I was like, I can't do it no more. It ain't gonna work. We gotta cut it. No. But keep in mind, like, we had, he had already broke up with me, like, a month, like, two months ago, and earlier in August, a week before I had went into school, and I was already going through stuff, like, with school and stuff like that, so I was kind of mad about it, because I was like, dang, you can't even be there for me, while well, I need you, like, to be my peace, and you just add, like, extra stress onto the, own, um, like, you're being an extra stress factor and stuff like that. And so, I felt like that was, like, really selfish to a certain note, like, I said, real finish. I felt like that was like real selfish to a certain extent. Yeah, okay. I'm trying to see how I can I describe it. You would say like you know like with girls in the like in a relationship, like your mind leaves first, then your body leaves like second. Like so I was kinda like preparing myself for it. Cause like the first time like we broke up, I was real toe up about it. Like I was like I was toe up. Like I was like boo like like, that's my world. That's my baby. Oh my god, my life is gonna end. Like, oh yeah, I was like, yeah, I was, I was, oh, I was going through it. But like this second, like the second time around, yeah, it hurt. I did cry. I did cry and stuff like that. But after the fact, then y'all, it, it won't blend out. It dry. I let it dry up. But like after like a, a few, like a few days or so, oh, baby, I was gonna go. Period. <laughs> yeah. But no, like, after a few days or whatever, like, yeah, I missed him and stuff like that. But, like, I was just like, after we broke up, I was like, don't bother me. Because, like, I need my space now. Like, how can I get over you and you keep, you know what I'm saying, hand me up, doing this, doing that, like, you're my boyfriend when you're not. So, like, can you leave me alone? You know what I'm saying? Like, the next three months were, uh, like, all to December. Like, it was just like, mm. It was just some serious. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I was sad about. But, baby, I was sad because I swore up and down I was over him. Maybe I wasn't, like, when I reflected on it. But it was just, like, a lot of stuff started coming in. Even, like, with stress factors, like, of, you know, me getting adapted to college. Like, I tried. Well, like, the whole time, like, I was, like, going through that phase or whatever. 
Like my whole thing was like being productive. And so I say Papa Brown, December, I was completely over him, y'all. Like completely, like it took probably like, like I was sad, but like Brown, December, like beginning of December, no, I say like December, I'm trying to get a date, let me see. Like December 14th, oh. I was through, baby. I was feeling good. I was like, oh, I'm gonna start doing this this day. I started planning out my time. I started giving myself reminders, like, what I'm gonna do. I started, like, it's just like, I just, like, my whole attitude changed. And, like, during this time, like, I've lost, I lost 30 pounds, y'all. I was 170 when I came into college. I'm now 135. That's almost 40 pounds. Ah! That's almost 40 pounds, y'all. And I feel great. I feel like a muck. I feel delicious so me getting over here it was just more so me like just like loving myself more and stuff like that mm-hmm and it's like me just loving myself more and all that good stuff and after that like once you start putting yourself first testing one two three <laughs> I'm so weak bro and once you start loving yourself more like all is gonna come to you okay I feel pretty um I'm not insecure not saying that he caused all that, but like you know how you like sometimes you gotta better yourself before you're even able to pour into someone else as far as like a relationship goes. And y'all like we're gonna be on my eyebrows for a long time because like, I'm kind of getting passionate about this conversation. And I, I know like you're just 18, you're young, I know enough. I think I know enough. Like all the time stuff that you could be you be spending moping around, feeling sad, feeling pitiful. Girl, get up and do something. Life still, life still going on, and it's gonna leave you behind if you don't get with it. Sorry, y'all needed a snack break. In there, you know, done that. Even me and my friend, that's a dude. He was talking. He was like, "Bro, you have your heartbreak when you don't even want to eat." I was like, first when he first said it, I was like, "Nah, I ain't never felt that." Baby, this time it hit me. It hit me like a wrecking ball, <laughs> literally. So now, like, yeah, like I know what he talking about and stuff like that so yeah you gotta be like if that person two times or you're playing like you ain't gotta be like mean to them but you know like if them two times and keep it pushing baby like i said life gonna go on and you better get right or get lost be in your, you can be in your feelings you know cry it out do what you gotta do but you better pick yourself up just as fast or 10 times faster not saying it's not it's wrong to have feelings, but you just gotta, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm saying. I'm trying to tell y'all what I'm saying, but it's hard to really tell y'all what I'm saying. I get my words in it just be flowing. Just be like, yeah, it's like I could write it down, you know, it'd be so articulate. Then I get here, or I even get in front of a person, like I'll get choked up. Pain is only temporary. And emotional pain is the worst pain you can go through. I don't care what nobody say. So it's your, it's your duty to pick yourself back up, dust your knees off, keep going. So, and I had to tell, my sister had to like tell me that. She had to break my, my sister tears. She had to like break that down to me. Like, yeah, cause like, y'all, I was told up, like, I was depressed. Like, I don't even know if depressed the word for I was devastated. <laughs> on like a serious, on a serious note. Like, I was devastated. But... You got it, you know what I'm saying? You got to love yourself more and know that you're better than what you're putting yourself through mentally. Because mental health is just important as physical health. Because once I started feeling better about myself mentally, I felt so much better physically. But yeah, so basically that's how, like, the breakup went. We broke up because, like, outside of factors, it really wasn't even us. And that was the mental part. That's what really got me. I really thought that was my husband. No cap. <laughs> I thought I met like my husband was gonna get married and have a dog named Bo. A name Bo and Belle. A go to two golden retrievers and an Alaskan husky. That was our plan. So you know how deep it was into this. Okay, like I said, December rolls around, like I'm getting back into dating. And you know I haven't dated in a <laughs> well I'm saying like dating been like I'm just so experienced. Really never like dated you know like it's like as far as like grown up dating like college dating and stuff like that like i've talked to a few boys before but i'm just like keeping my options open no i'm not trying to be in another relationship right now i'm more so bettering myself 
Because at first, like first semester, like so many dudes try to holler at me. <laughs> I'm country. But I really didn't want to talk to no one. Didn't want to be bothered. Even though I got an idea of what I like and what I don't like, now I'm older and stuff. So like I really know what I be like somewhat looking for. So I um Like, I know I'm young, but I'm a freshman in college. Like, you know, everyone expects to be, get, like, in engaged and stuff. Like, when we get out of college, you know, around graduation time. What's that saying they be saying? March tears? Whatever. I don't know what it's called. But I know, like, getting married out of college, coming out of college and stuff like that. You know, this is where you meet your husband and all that. Um, The pressure be on, but I'm not, like, forcing it right now. It's like 7.30 and the game started at 8 and I ain't even there. That's wild right now. But I just got done baking and my camera had cut off so, you know, I had to make it do what it do. And it's like for some weird reason, I attract athletes. Like literally everyone that has talked to me plays football or basketball. Like ain't no way around it. Um, I really don't have anyone that I'm feeling right now or that I feel like, oh, we can take this to the next step. But I'm definitely not playing with someone's feelings. Speaking of dating. I'm just being a little bit old me, you know. I'm cool on everything. Mentally, you know, of course, you got feelings on some days. I get a little sad. But other than that, overall, oh, life is great. I'm living my best life. But um, today, I'm going to do a dark lippy. Really don't do dark lippies. Oh, but first off, I got to put my lashes on. I'm going to be bad B certified. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I just looked at myself and was like, you just bad B certified. Eh. Oh my god, like, yeah, I just look at myself and be so amazed. Dark lippy. I'm listening. <laughs> 